Hey booktube, how you guys doing? Um, it's been a while, I know. Um, all sorts, all sorts have been happening. So, um, but um, I did um, read this. I wanted to talk to you guys about it. <clears throat> but first, before I get into this, I just want to give you a big update on everything that I'm doing. Um, in case you care. So, um, first off, if you go over to um, IHateMattWall.com, um, you can see the stories I'm putting up and everything like that. Um, I'm going to be putting up more and more on here. Um, also, on my Etsy store, um, which is this right here, um, these are all the zines that are left. Um, the weird mask there's only like one or two of each of these left um some of them uh, i'm trying to think of which ones there's a little bit more of um i think no i'm pretty sure most of them it's just one um my short stories that appeared in weird mask um right here let me just make sure that's a thing yeah um this one i have um uh i think five of these left let me just see here so there's some hank bradshaw stuff but it's all the stories um from the first year of weird mask that i did under different names um, but once these are gone, these are pretty much gone. So, um, and then finally, um, cause this came up too, all of my eBooks I put back up. So, um, all the black star books are finally all out. So all five of these are out. Um, also my newest poetry book acid right here, that's out, um, so yeah, so, um, and if you can't find me or whatever, <clears throat> if you just go to my website and hit ebooks, um, it'll take you right there or Etsy and it'll take you right there. So with all that out of the way, um, let's get back to this. So, um, Kurt Vonnegut, look at the birdie. <clears throat> I started reading this in, um, at the end of 2017 and then like just put it somewhere and didn't come across it again until we were packing to move. And then I'm like, Oh, I'll read this this summer, last summer. And, um, I didn't get to it. So, um, I got to it, and basically, I guess this book was a bunch of unpublished um, short stories that he did, and his estate found him after he was dead and put the book out. So it got, like, um, a lot of praise because it was, like, the last Vonnegut book, Um and it was named one of the best books of the year by the Boston Globe, you know? <clears throat> um, and it was weird. Like, I'm a big fan um, of Vonnegut. And some of the stories, and he's got a lot of artwork in here too that's really cool. Um, but some of the stories were... Like, there was one story in here that, like, it felt like it was a, a James Cain story. <clears throat> and I kept waiting for, like, the the Kurt Vonnegut bit to come, and it never came. And I was like, oh, well, okay, that was, that was fun. And a lot of the stories are like that, where it's like, you keep expecting, like, that weird, quirky little fun ironic poke to happen and it never happens and you're like oh but there are some um 
that aren't like that, that um, are very Vonnegut-like. But honestly, they're so few and far between. I would say there's only like maybe two stories in here that you would read and go, oh, that's such a good Vonnegut story. Like, that's very Vonnegut. Um, everything else in here feels like he was kind of playing with genres a little bit. Like, um, just kind of playing. Like, s just seeing what he could do. And I mean, it's obvious as to why... I don't know if it is or isn't. To me, it seemed like it was obvious why this stuff was not published during his lifetime. Because he probably was like, eh, that was fun, but mm, eh, you know? So, um, like, if you've read all of Vonnegut, like, I haven't read all of Vonnegut. I've read a lot of Vonnegut. But if you've read all of it and you're like, man, I really wish there was something else I could read, then definitely check this out. But if you're new to Vonnegut, or um, you've only read like Slaughterhouse Five or Cat's Cradle or um, Breakfast of Champions or something like that, like there's plenty other good Vonnegut stuff to check out before you um, go up and nab this one. Um, <clears throat> so I'm trying to think if there's any. Like, let me look at the table of contents here real quick. Um, oh, and that was the other thing. A lot of the stories in here, like the twist or whatever, is very much telegraphed. Like, you're reading it and you're like, um, I'm, that's going to happen, watch. And then, like, the whole story hangs on like, that one thing happening, <clears throat> but you already know what's going to happen, so it's kind of like, um, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's not as exciting, I guess, you, you, you could say, as, um, a typical, um, Vonnegut book, so that was probably, like, the, the, one thing that I was kind of bummed out about, because typically when I've read Vonnegut in the past, like, there are these kind of ironic, like, <clears throat> um, things that happen to the characters that make you, um, kind of sit back and think maybe like kind of think about like you and like your life and everything um but that doesn't happen here like you see it coming like a mile away and then you're like okay like you already know what's going to happen so why is it taking the story so long to tell you that you know what i'm saying so um but other than that it was good like um, on, like, the Goodreads Awesome Star Scale, I gave it three, because it was good. I wasn't mad I read it, I wasn't, like, wishing for my time back, you know, but nothing, like, blew me away. <clears throat> um, I would say probably the best story in here, um, was, uh, come on. You could do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, Ed Lubby's Key Club. And not because it was a good Vonnegut story, but because it was like a good, like, thriller. Like, it was kind of like a... Like, that story felt like a... Something that... Um, like Raymond Chandler or James Kane would write. <clears throat> um, and I wasn't upset that it wasn't very vonnegut -y. Is that a word, vonnegut -y? Um But it was exactly what it was. And I was like on the edge of my seat the whole time reading it. Um, 
to make, just to give you a little bit of background, it's in Ilium, which is cool, um, but it's about these this couple who's going to this um, restaurant for their 14th anniversary, and um, they witness a crime, and then the crime um, gets, like, they get framed for it. It was just, it was a good story, you know? Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, look at the birdie. Check it out if you've read all of Vonnegut. If you haven't read all of Vonnegut, um, wait. And um, let me know down below what you think, if you agree or disagree. Um, what's your favorite Vonnegut book or story? Um, and we will talk soon. Take care.